The following is a rebroadcast of WIFR-TV Action News at 10. FRTV, Freeport, Rockford. From the WIFR studios, this is Action News at 10 with the WIFR News Team. I'm Mimi Murphy. I'm Alan Jones. Thanks for being with us this Friday night. After five and a half hours of deliberations, the Stevenson County jury has found Grady Clark not guilty of first-degree murder in the shooting death of 19-year-old Curtis Brown last November. Clark was found guilty, however, of aggravated discharge of a firearm and guilty of unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon. One juror who wanted to remain anonymous told Action News there was not any evidence that placed the gun in Clark's hands at the time of the killing. Defense attorney Stephen Broussard says it puzzles him how jurors found Clark guilty on the other charges when they had reasonable doubt that he was the shooter. Broussard says they will appeal the guilty verdicts. Clark will be sentenced December 15th at 10 a.m. Six men have now been convicted on various charges in connection with the case, but the question still remains as to who killed Curtis Brown. Well, Rockford police and school officials were looking for a student allegedly involved in a fight at Guilford High School today. Dr. Connie Good, the assistant school superintendent, says authorities began searching for a victim after blood and other evidence of violence were discovered in a back hallway of the school. Officials say there were reports of a gun, and they believe the fight was between two boys. But until the victim is located, school officials say they're still unsure exactly what happened. Well, the Belvedere City Council has taken steps to freeze any hiring for the police and fire departments, and it's not about budget problems, but testing problems. Fifth Ward Alderman Percy Gordon joins us now live tonight on the Action Newsline to discuss this and other council action. Thanks for being with us tonight. Good evening. Could you explain to us what this freeze is about? Well, it's a precautionary measure on the part of uh, the City Council to um, uh, get the Fire and Police Commission in and have a talk with them, decide why they've de deviated from past hiring procedures, and uh, we put the freeze in place to avoid any liability uh, the city attorney uh, advised us we might incur. How long is this freeze going to uh, be in effect? Well, that depends on how uh, um, the evidence comes out from the uh, Fire and Police Commission and uh, their reasons for um, changing the procedures and uh, if they meet with our satisfaction or whatever, uh, uh, we'll have to make a decision then. Is the council planning to continue meeting with the Police and Fire Commission? Well, I hope so. We've scheduled a meeting at the next council meeting. Uh, 